Day number three, the book of Genesis, and God said. Well, let's talk about what He said on the third day of creation. Welcome to part three, actually day three, from the book of Genesis. We're having conversation about creation, and I want to remind men that this is we're, we're speaking to this because there's so many of us that are being discouraged by what's happening in what we call the church with conversation that is getting into all kinds of social issues, and they're getting off the Word of God. Men, we've got to speak up about what the Word of God has to say, and there's no better place for us to defend that than the first 11 chapters out of the book of Genesis. Day number three, let's pick up with verse number nine, which reads as such, and God said, here we go again, God spoke this into existence, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place, and let the dry land appear, and it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters called he seas, and God saw that it was good. I just like that. God saw it and it was good. If it's good for him, my gosh. Anyway, and God said, let the earth, again, God said, let the earth bring forth grass and the herb yielding seed and the fruit yielding tree, fruit after his kind. I really want to focus on that. That fruit is reproducing from the seed that God initially planted when he created it. And it was so. And the earth brought forth grass and herb yielding seed after his kind, there we go again, and the tree yielding fruit, which seed was in itself after his kind. We know enough about fruit to know that the seed of the fruit actually is what reproduces the fruit. What a beautiful piece of creation. And God saw that it was good. Yes, it was. And the evening and the morning were the third day. Mm -hmm.